In this video, we will see the question why do ships float on water even the density of cargo is relatively high. Relatively high means even the density of cargo is greater than density of water. So why does it happen? First, let us understand why do ships float on water. And uh, next, uh, let us understand the total question why do ships float on water even the density of cargo is relatively high. You can see in this picture this much amount of cargo is present and this density is very high density of this cargo is very high when compared to density of water even that even though uh, that is floating on the water so why does it happen first let us understand this question why lower density bodies float on fluids lower density uh, bodies which are uh, the density of the bodies which are less than the density of fluids float on the fluids so why does this happen let us understand this uh, fluids exert fluids exert an upward force which is called as buoyant force so this exert an upward force which is called as buoyant force suppose a body is a body is placed in this fluid and uh, the weight of the body is w and there is upward force that is acting which is called as buoyant force and this buoyant force is equal to weight of fluid displaced weight of fluid displaced suppose there is a container and it is filled with some liquid if a body is placed in this so this much amount of the fluid will be flown outside so this much amount of fluid will be uh, flown outside and if we measure the, this weight if we measure this weight we will be getting the buoyant force so here buoyant since this body is at a, a constant position it is not it is not going downwards or it is not going upwards so the forces will be balanced upward force is equal to downward force so this is weight of the body so upward buoyant force is equal to downward weight of the total body it's the weight of the total body so what will be the buoyant force weight of this displaced fluid weight of displaced fluid is equal to weight of the body so what is the weight of the displaced fluid displaced fluid is equal to density of the fluid into volume of displaced fluid into acceleration due to gravity and weight of the body is density of the body into acceleration due to gravity into uh, this uh, volume of total body so here volume of displaced fluid here volume of total body and uh, gg gets cancelled so density of fluid into volume of displaced fluid is equal to density of body into volume of body if we look here density of fluid is greater than density of body so density of fluid is greater and density of body is lower uh, to compensate this uh, uh, higher and lower values this volume of displaced the fluid should be lower and the volume of body should be higher so uh, this happens only when the body floats when the body floats only a fraction of the body uh, will be in the fluid so this much amount of the fluid is only displaced if uh, the body is totally submerged in uh, liquid this total volume of the uh, total body will be uh, volume of displaced fluid that's why volume of displaced fluid should be only a portion of volume of body so this happens only when the body floats on the uh, fluid so that's why uh, lower density bodies float on fluids if the density of uh, density of fluid is less than density of body what happens density of fluid volume of displaced fluid then there is uh, this equation is not valid by and force is not equal to weight of the body since there is sinking of the body sinking of the body means this uh, body moves with mass into acceleration force so the f plus mass into acceleration uh, w plus m uh, ma is equal to by and force so this will be uh, the force acting uh, when it is going downwards and uh, sorry it is w plus ma is equal to fb it's not right w is equal to by and force plus ma and this is due to d alambert's principle d alambert's principle so this is not right so this is uh, why do uh, lower density bodies float on fluids and the next question is let us come to or this question why do ships float on water even the density of cargo is relatively high we have seen that 
this density of the body is density of average uh, it is the average density it is not the uh, there are different components in the ship if you look this this is one material the ship is made of one material and uh, this cargo has another density uh, suppose let us say this is density s and this is density c and uh, the parts have different densities so we consider the average density so this average uh, what is this average density average density is equal to total mass divided by total volume total mass divided by total volume gives us average density so uh, the ship is made of into components like this in the uh, lower part of the ship there are compartments and in this compartments totally it is uh, the compartments are totally empty so there is air filled in this due to this the mass uh, the volume is increased keeping the total mass constant the volume is increased so if the uh, if these compartments are filled with uh, some material then mass will be increased so that uh, the density also the average density also increases so these are kept uh, empty with air and uh, why are these compartments uh, made why are these compartments made uh, we can fill air totally without compartments but here if these compartments are made so that if any damage occurs so if this is the ship and these are the compartments if any damage occurs in this compartment the water will be filled in this and here the density will be more than uh, more than the density of the fluid so that this ship sinks in this way so in this compartment water is present and ship sinks in this way uh, so uh, there will be no damage for the whole ship if the ship is made out of no compartments so if there is damage occurs here so total fluid uh, total water gets into this ship and the ship uh, average density total average density will be greater than density of fluid and this ship sinks into the water so this is uh, what we need to consider this is the average density it is not the density of the cargo or density of the ship material so that is the average density and this average density is made lower by increasing the volume so volume of the total uh, cargo plus ship total mass divided by total volume so as this volume is increased the displaced uh, the uh, this displaced volume also gets increased with this total weight so this uh, there is a cargo and uh, due to this weight the displaced volume also gets increased and uh, due to this displaced volume increase there will be upward buoyant force increased so density of average, uh, average density uh, decreases due to average density decreases due to volume increase and due to this volume increase the buoyancy force also increases this both are interrelated to each other so the answer to this question is this why do ships float on water this is because it is the average density and it is the not density of cargo or density of ship that is the average density which is less than density of fluid and due to this volume displaced displaced volume of displaced fluid increases so buoyancy force also increases keeping the body floating on the water so that's the reason